Good evening, this is Tina. In this video, we are going to talk about a query string module. Very easy module. Based on the module name, you can already guess what is doing, right? Doing the thing related to our query string, okay, which is the thing after the in our URL, after the question mark, before the hash sign, okay? And uh, it's actually doing some functionality uh, when we're using uh, this here in the, our app. Here we have a true, right? Here we have a true, doing something like this one, okay? So now, uh, first, in order to using this query string module, we have to require it, okay? Query string, it's a core module. And then, suppose now I have a query string dot uh, parse okay suppose here I have a username this is after the question mark of URL Tina and password equals X I N G right when we parse you are get when we using parse without a true you are in the query you are getting this value right you can using the URL module you can also using the query string module to parse it like uh, object equals and it's gonna give you a key value pair which is a console.log obj okay doing everything related to query string and a node query string demo you will see key value pair okay and it also can do a similar thing like uh, the uh, format uh, suppose currently this object is this one right being returned what we can do is query string query string dot string gify okay obj okay and then uh, it's gonna return const my url equals he will give you the entire url my url okay anyway doing everything related to query string see here once you give this one once you parse it will give you the key value pair as an object about your query string and when you're using stringify okay then it's gonna turn this uh, uh, key value pair object uh, to be a string okay very simple okay uh, so if you want to pass the query string you can choose using the URL or you can choosing the query string module to parse it as you want okay so that's it for this video thank you for watching see you bye bye